That's not a knife. This is a knife. Greetings and salutations, good people. My name is O.J. James Cooks Jr. This is O.J. B. Cookie. So today we're doing a little something different. I was gifted a set of Time Moon knives, so I figured I would unbox them with you and test these mugs out. First, we'll get a close-up look at the knives and a little backstory on the brand, and then we're going to test these mugs out. Come on with me. All right, good people. Welcome back. Welcome back. I appreciate y'all joining me for a little something different today. We're going to unbox these good old Time Moon knives. Uh, this was sent to me uh, as a, a criminal gift. Uh, from the company that I work for, you know what I mean? So I figured I'd bust them out, see what's going on with them, see if they any good, you know what I mean? See if they're trying to play your boy. Box look pretty good, so far so good, but this plastic is, is, is stumping your boy. As you can see, I'm examining the box thoroughly uh, to see if there's a way in, uh, you know what I mean? Try to get my fingers up under there, you know what I mean? No dice, yep, yep, no. They got this government plastic on here. This, this G14 classified plastic right here. About this time, we're coming to the realization I'm gonna need some scissors, you know what I'm saying? Which is very ironic. I needed scissors to open a knife box. I wasn't lost on that. But as you can see, here they are, fully unboxed. They're a little dusty, you know what I mean? Had a little particulate. You know what I mean? Had to, had to wrench them, had to wrench them off before use, you know what I mean? Wipe them on down. The moon knives come from centuries old traditions. These knives are made in a small village in Thailand by talented blacksmith artisans. Used for everything in the kitchen. These hand forged knives are made from carbon steel and wood and are truly countertop worthy. A blah 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 verve culture. Pull them out the box real quick. Let you get a look. Again, mad dusty. Gotta clean these boys off, which we will do right now. Alright, we're gonna start this off with old just a little fun. You know what I mean? We'll drop this bell pep on here, see if it cut right through. It did on the first knife anyway. The second knife, no bueno. No, no good. All right, let's get into it. Start off with a bell pepper. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to, you know, do nothing fancy. I just really want to just see how it work. Also, I'm not a certified chef, so I don't really have like spectacular knife skills. But I'm alright. I'm alright. Yeah, yeah, this feeling real good right here. Yeah, I like this. I like this one. All right, let's see what this this boy here talking about. <laughs> you ain't starting off good, bro. Yeah, a little better. All right, so what I'm noticing off the rip is the initial curve of the knife towards the front of it is much sharper than the actual uh, broad curve of the knife uh, as, it, as it extends on through. Um, the rock in nature, eh, you know, I think if the knife was sharpened appropriately, we'd be in the game. But as you can see, look how sharp that front blade is. It's, it's cutting some nice thin slices. Move on to a carrot. Back to our flat edge knife. Like that so far so good yeah, yeah I like the feel of this nice thin slices of carrot coming on through we'll switch it up see what this rocking action is looking like yeah it's not terrible I don't love it but it's not terrible get it get it done we'll move on to some green on you as you can see making you know very nice work of that The rocking action, not as impressive. You know, again, uh, I, I would probably stick with this flat edge. Now we got old sweep set. A sweep set is a notorious of hard. Ooh, look how beautiful and clean that went through. Check this out. Eat, eat, eat. I gotta tell y'all, man, I've sliced a lot of sweet potatoes. This knife is making pretty good work of it. I'm, I'm, I'm moderately impressed. Look how thin that is. Yeah. Now, of course, now we gotta move on to the big boy. Not, not, not as great. Not as great at all. Yeah, I think if, if you know, once I take this one, you know, over a whetstone sharpener for a bit, I think it'll be a lot better. Ooh, look at that. Now, it's, now uh, tomatoes are really big tips because now tato, uh, tomatoes are super soft, and so you can squish them with your knife if your knife isn't sharp enough. But as you can see, this one's gliding right on through. And then we'll move on to the curve, boy. And yep, yeah, nope. So as you can see, you know, uh, th this knife is not as good as the other knife. I, I think it's just not as sharp, basically, which is a, uh, you know, you know, a shame on them for sending out a dull knife. That's why they get some of the finger cut off. But uh, you know, all in all, you know, 
it is what it is. And I would just give you one more look at these, you know. It's a pretty, aesthetically, it's a pretty good looking knife. Uh, it's lightweight as well. You know, you can tell it's a, it's a, it's a decent grade of steel and they were forged as opposed to just molded. You know, you definitely don't want a molded knife. You want it to be forged. Um, you know, looks good on the countertop. You know, I'll definitely be using the one on the right, you know, uh, in the future. Don't know about that other one. We'll see how it goes once I sharpen it, but you know, all in all, pretty good, especially for free 99, <laughs> you feel me? Appreciate y'all joining me. All right, good people, moment of truth. I done tested them out, and I'ma tell you the truth. These knives, they're okay. They're not great, they're not bad. They have a good weight and balance feel. I'm sure they're knives with much better, but these are pretty solid for the, you know, for, for what you got. Uh, one knock is that this one is sharper than this one. You know what I mean? So you will see me using this one in videos in the future. This one probably not so much. Also, the ergonomics on this one is a little odd. The rock back and forth cut, not a huge fan of it. Um, I feel like I can do the same thing with, 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 with a knife of this style. I don't really like the edge of this one, in the, you know what I mean? But overall, you know, Time Moon, solid brand, you know, for 80 bucks or so. It's a pretty good knife. I'll use it. Like I said, I'll be using this one. You'll see this one in future videos, you know. And, uh, you know, that's about it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do more reviews or more knives or whatever else I have in the kitchen. You know, in the meantime, peace.